We're going to be discussing how Wilt Chamberlain potentially lost millions of dollars after the death of his close friend and former owner of the Philadelphia 76ers, Ike Richmond. Richmond has offered Wilt 25% ownership of the 76ers. I'm going to be showing you guys some clips of Wilt Chamberlain on the 76ers and a picture of him and Ike Richmond. And then we're going to be discussing more details as history follows. So, let's take a look at this, right? So, Will Chamberlain obviously was a very dominant athlete on the 76ers, right? And who wouldn't want, uh, who wouldn't want Will Chamberlain, right? Here's the problem, right? This contract of 25% never went through after the death of Ike Richmond. Basically, Will felt like he was screwed out of 25% of, in today's terms, Six hundred and twelve million dollars worth of 76ers, which is 25 percent of their 2.5 billion dollar empire, which is crazy to think about now. But think about that. We're going to put this in perspective. This was over 60 years ago. So the team at the time was probably worth like a couple million at most. It was sold for 10 or I think 12 million in 1980. So this is before they won the title in 1966. This is before all that. They weren't a very good franchise. So we got to put in uh, preparations that this was not that bad of a deal to keep a very good athlete to rise the team's value by keeping Will Chamberlain for a couple of years. Now, here's the thing, right? History changes with the death of Ike Richmond. First off, Will Chamberlain, they go and win the title in 1966 on the 76ers, right? But after this, Will Chamberlain, I guess the death of his best friend and his lawyer, just put a very bad taste in his mouth. And he got traded to the Lakers and dominated on there. He won one title with Jerry West in 1972, and then he retired and went on to do a, a, a bunch of things, especially show work. And he was even in Conan the Destroyer with Arnold. So... That was a very, he had a very good career. Now, the, here's the problem, right? So, obviously, he, he still did good on the Lakers, right? But this man, Irv Kozlov, was like, nah. Because after the death of the co-owner of the 76ers, Ike Richmond, basically he was like, nah. Because the contract was never in writing, so basically it didn't exist. Sorry, Will, but there's no way I'm handing over a piece of the city six years to you. Now, let's say social media was around, right? I'm going to be posting some tweets. Will would probably block Mr. Kozlov and then request a trade. Now, it is very, very likely that Will Chamberlain's net worth at the time of his death in 1999 will be more worth way more than it currently was, which was $10 million in 1999. Now, there's a lot of here, you know, there's a lot of question marks in that because he could have spent more, but even so, 5%, 10% of the 76ers franchise was worth definitely way more in 1999 than it was in 1965. So, so was that 30 years it, the values went up especially after the title run and then we could also also put in consideration that maybe Will Chamberlain would never leave the 76ers if his best friend didn't die that means that the Lakers wouldn't have their 1972 title right Jerry West wouldn't have another ring right and the 76ers could have went on to be a better franchise because after this the 76ers weren't really that good to be honest um they really became better whenever dr j came around charles barkley and now joel and b or alan iverson then joel and bead so this changes the course of nba history so this is a very interesting forgotten detail in the terms and the grand scheme of nba history I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like the video and subscribe if you haven't. If you did enjoy. And I will be coming up with more videos like this. And if I had any details wrong. 
please make sure to let me know in the comments down below